Hello, welcome to another Reelect tutorial, where today we're going to be talking about one of the wilderness hazards you should be looking out for. No matter the activity, out in the wilderness there's plenty to get injured by, so here's one of the things you should know about and pay attention to to avoid such injury. Now the topic of this video is going to be something that you may not expect given I'm talking about wilderness hazards, but in general the places you're likely to go camping or hiking are places well traveled by other people and other people tend to leave things behind sometimes. Which is why today we're going to talk about one of the forms of litter that is both the most common and the most dangerous, and that's broken glass. In the woods, almost all of the time the broken glass comes in the form of shattered beer bottles. Now I'd anticipate that it's pretty much common knowledge as to why broken glass is dangerous, but uh, especially when you don't know it's there, there's a good chance you could land on it and puncture your foot, or if you're digging in the ground and your hand brushes against it, you could get a really nasty cut. Now, whereas a lot of the wilderness hazards I talk about amount to little more than inconveniences or debuffs, this one's different. While getting a game over is unlikely, with the kind of cuts that broken glass can cause, especially out in the woods where you might not have good access to medical attention, it's certainly possible. Now, of course, this is a man-made hazard, so it's not going to be everywhere, but you should expect it to be in most places. It's far more prevalent than you think. Especially in public campgrounds, you need to be very careful because it's almost 100% chance there's going to be at least some broken glass in the ground. However, while that is the truth, it's a bit unsatisfactory because, I mean, if you're out camping, having a bunch of fun, chances are you're going to forget. And of course, with a lot of things, the RNG of actually getting injured is fairly low, even when the danger is present. So you'll often fall into bad and dangerous habits without even knowing it. Which is why I'm going to give you a set of reminders as to when you should be careful that broken glass is likely in the area. If you actually manage to spot some shards of broken glass, well, there's a great reminder, but they're very difficult to find. Green ones are the easiest, especially in the leaf litter. Forget about clear and brown stained glass. Especially in the woods, it just gets buried too quick. You will sometimes also find whole glass bottles, but this is not a really reliable method either because all it takes is one person to step on this and more broken glass shards. Also, whoever left this specific bottle, not only did they litter, they didn't even finish their drink. So far it's not looking good, but there is one thing that correlates with these glass bottles and does a much better job of staying intact. And that's beer cans. If there are going to be people leaving beer bottles in an area, chances are there's going to be someone leaving beer cans there too. And the cans do a much better job of staying together, staying above the leaf litter, and being visible from a distance. So the next time you're out camping and you see a beer can on the ground, remember that it likely means that there's broken glass around too. And while you're there, do everyone else a favor and help clean the place up. Anyway, that's about it. I do hope you've learned something, and as always, I wish you the best. Until next time.